All right, here I go again with another creature feature for the day. Was digging around in the yard and I found this beautiful American toad. There's only a few varieties in, of toads in Ohio. This one happens to be the young American toad. And toads are really special animals that are also underappreciated. I'm not sure if it's the bumps on the back or, or what it is that causes people to um, not appreciate toads the way they deserve to be appreciated. But this toad right here is a female toad. I can see that because if you look at her chin, she doesn't have any dark coloration under the chin. Her males do. They have a black coloration under the chin from when they're singing and their skin expands really, really loud to make that awesome trill that we hear in the spring when toads are out at vernal pools and in ponds laying their eggs. But this little girl right here, if you look closely, you can see she has golden eyes. I was reading in a Native American legends book that the toad was once the most powerful, the most beautiful, and the wealthiest creature in the forest. But it was also very vain and very selfish, not wanting to share its wealth with others and also just knowing its gorgeousness. So the gods took away all of the beauty and all of the wealth of the toad, but only left it with its gorgeous golden eye. Two eyes, actually. But I think you can see the golden eyes of an American toad. They're so beautiful. They actually use their eyes to swallow. I think you could see this toad just closed its eyes when they're eating their um, prey, which is usually insects, worms. They love worms. They push it down their throat with their eyeballs. And they have a long sticky tongue that they flip out really quickly to catch their prey. <laughs> And uh, they're just really amazing little animals. They don't actually cause warts, but they do squirt you with a liquid when you pick them up because they're trying to protect themselves from predators. So toads have a liquid that they squirt out of their bum that burns and itches the eyes of the mouth of a fox or a raccoon or any sort of predator that may try to eat it. And that helps um, it live a long, long life. Actually, toads have been recorded to live 30 years in captivity. So that's just crazy. So if you have a toad visiting your back porch for the dog food or for the insects because you've left your back porch light on, you may see that toad year after year after year. And this beauty right here will be released right back where she was found. And next year I'll see her in my vernal pool, hopefully laying her eggs and get to watch her little toadlets hatch. All right, enjoy the day.